Hello, Maximiliano. How are you? Bien. ¿Qué tal su día, Maximiliano? Bien, bien. Good. Yeah, excellent. I'm sorry. Vaya, vamos a esperar a los chicos porque solo nosotros dos estamos ahorita. Vamos a esperar dos minutos más antes de se conectan. Voy a mandar un mensajito al grupo. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Vamos a ver estos chicos que se metan. Hello, hello, Juan, este, hello, Juan Carlos, vecino, Juan Carlos, Enrique, el JC es otro, I'm sorry, Carlos, Hi. Enrique, ¿qué Don't bien? worry, teacher, Hi. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. ¿Cómo estamos, chicos? Kevin, bienvenido, Kevin. Thank you. Ok, bye. vamos a empezar la clase ya, chicos, porque ya son cinco minutos pasadas las tres. Esperemos que los demás se puedan conectar mediante el pase el tiempo de la clase, ¿verdad? Que puedan integrarse a lo que es la explicación. Ok, bye. la semana pasada estuvimos viendo que, chicos, a ver, solamente creo que era más que todo discusión, ¿verdad? Y estuvimos hablando algo de, la, de los vestuarios, ¿right? If I no mistake. Yes. Ajá. Y estuvimos okay. hablando de los precios, right? Prices. Um, if it is expensive, we touch some uh, adjectives, right? For example, uh, expensive, cheaper, uh, it's okay, right? Or the price is, it's okay, something like this. Phrases like this, right? Okay, so tell me, this day we are going to talk about uh, comparatives, okay? And also we are going to touch a little bit about the adjectives and also we are going to touch a little bit more about the clothes. For the reason I ha I have brought a, <clears throat> a medium a dictionary, right? For you to learn more about the vocabulary words about the clothes. Just give me some minutes and I'm going to share the screen. Vamos a ver. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So we are here, guys. For today, we have this one. September 25, right? Or 25th, right? 2023. And the topic is comparatives and superlatives. El tema de la clase de ahora, chicas, es comparative. Pero me gustaría agregar los superlativos para que usted los vaya manejando de una vez. Okay. No es tanta la diferencia, solamente lo que cambia es la S -E, la E S T, right? O la E R y, y eso es todo, right? Ok, bueno, para el vocabulario, chicos, tenemos poquito, ¿verdad? Solamente talking about the size. ¿Qué size? 
pantallas, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer un poquito más grande para que se pueda ver mejor. The size is a small, medium, large. Maybe you can say big also, right? And this is a, a also about the materials that we were talking before. Remember the cotton, wool, and silk. Sí, era seda, ¿verdad? Y wool que era como lana, right? If I'm not mistaken. We were talking about plastic, gold, right? What else? Right. ¿Qué más? Leader, leader era como este cuero, right? And what else? You can take your notes. You can check your notes, right? Bueno, esas las notas, usted tomó nota, right? <laughs> Vamos a ver, let's see. Si no estoy, voy a abrir, a ver por acá. Voy a abrir el banal entonces, para medio recordarnos de los materials, right? Let me see, we were in on page. Oops, no pasé. Sí, no pasé. Sí. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, oh, no, no, oh, no, no, Leather, plastic, wool, silver, right? Gold, silk, or rubber. <clears throat> También tenemos cotton, right? It was a rubber. And also we have leather, leather, right? Uh huh, get a rubber. Ule? Era ule o como goma, ¿verdad? De cau, como caucho, decíamos también, ¿verdad? Que eran las, las botas. Y también decíamos silver. ¿Qué es silver? Plata. Plata, ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Vale. Ahora, primero que todo, voy a explicar lo que es la parte gramática y después vamos a ir al manual. ¿Ok? Ok. Perfecto. So, let's see. This is more vocabulary words about the clothes. It's a little bit, right? Poquito, no es tanto. Tenemos belt, tenemos blouse, boots, cap, coat, dress. Tenemos gloves, right? Hat, hoodie, right? Almost everybody has a hoodie, right? When you have a whole day, you will, you tend to use a hoodie or a jacket, right? Jeans, also overalls and dungarees. It depends, right? In the United States, in America, these overalls and British is dungarees, right? Maybe it's in, in okay. In British, okay. also we have we have the difference between this one, right? Pajamas or pajamas, right? A panties, knickers, right? In this case, could be knickers, right? In the in British, but in the United States, panties, right? Okay, pants also or trousers. Los pueden llamar de las dos formas. Depende, verdad, de de donde estemos. Okay, este pronunciación o significado estemos utilizando, verdad, de qué lugar, right? Raincoat. Oh, you already know what is a raincoat, right? A scarf when you have a cold day. Also, you tend to use a scarf. And also we have a shirt or shoes, right? It is the same for girls, it is the same for men, right? Or for boys, shoes. It depends on what kind of shoes are you using. In the in the girls, maybe it could be a high heel shoes or a tennis shoes or a sneaker shoes or another kind of shoes, right? And also for you guys, tennis shoes or formal shoes or boats maybe, right? Etc. Right. Also, we have shorts. We have shorts and we have skirt for the girls. Tenemos socks for uh, almost everybody, right? And suit. Suit is the ones that you use it when you are going to go to a formal dinner or maybe you are going to assist to a meeting in which is uh, asking that you go there in a suit, right? 
Also, we have sweater in the United States and jumper when it's in British, right? Also, we have this one, sweet shirt or sweet pants, right? Sweet shirts yeah. and sweet pants. Es para cuando usted va a hacer ejercicio, como ropa de ejercicio. O sudaderas, ¿verdad? Swimming trucks, trunks is when you use a calzoneta, right? De baño. And swimming suit is for the girls. Tie or t-shirt or underpants. This is for you guys, underpants. Or you can say in general, underwear. Underwear is in general. It is the same for girls, it is the same for boys, right? But if you're talking about bras, uh, underpants and those kind of things, right? In general. It's clear? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Some questions about this one? No? Okay, perfect. Good. Excellent. So let's talk about what we had to do right now. Here we have the adjectives and also we have the rules that belongs to the comparatives and superlatives, right? And it says one syllable adjectives to form the comparative, we add ER to the end of the adjective. To form the superlative, we add ES to the end for the adjectives. Quiere decir que yo para hacer una comparación voy a utilizar el, la ER al final del adjetivo o para hacer una comparación más grande, ¿verdad? Para resaltar más, yo voy a ocupar el superlativo que en este caso es agregando ES al final del adjetivo. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos un cuadrito donde nos explica mucho mejor las dos formas, ¿ok? <clears throat> ¿Qué pasa con los adjetivos? Tenemos small, cold, light, wide, and hot, right? ¿Qué pasa con eso? Tenemos adjetivos largos y tenemos este, adjetivos cortos. Generalmente los adjetivos largos nosotros vamos a utilizar el ER, pero también tenemos adjetivos, la adjetivos largos en donde nosotros ocupamos el more y el than, ¿ok? Pero ahorita vamos a ocupar solamente, ¿verdad?, eh, estos, pero más adelante les voy a escribir un poco de los largos porque también se ocupan, ¿ok? Ok. Bien, tenemos small. Small significa pequeño. Para yo decir, eh, esta mesa es más pequeña que la tuya, ¿ok? ¿Cómo sería? Vamos a ver, vamos a, a bajar un poquito este cuadrito para hacer un ejemplo. Ups, me hice el otro. Bueno, digamos, tenemos, por aquí lo voy a hacer, pero pues no se me va. Ahí está. Examples, ok, examples. Tenemos, eh, this, is, this, this table is smaller than yours, ok. Esta mesa es más pequeña que la tuya, ¿ok? Smaller, ¿por qué? Porque tenemos un adjetivo pequeño y solamente tenemos que agregarle la ER, ER, perdón, para comparar una con la otra, ¿verdad? Pero, ¿qué pasa cuando nosotros vamos a ocupar un adjetivo con el superlativo? Entonces, yo voy a decir, esta es la mesa más larga, es la más larga. Entonces, vengo yo y digo... Vengo yo y digo, this is the, perdón, es la más pequeña, smallest. Smallest. Smallest, es la más pequeña de, de las que hay, ¿verdad? This is the smallest. Y yo puedo utilizar the smallest one también, la más pequeña, para referirme solo a uno, ¿verdad? Ahora vamos, lo siguiente también vamos con lo cold, ¿verdad? ¿Qué oración podemos hacer con cold? A ver, who wants to participate? This winter is the colder. Uh -huh. the colder. This winter or the winter? This winter? The colder 
of the last ten years. The color of the last ten years. Dam last year. year. Pero en este en este question lo voy a poner the color. Es this winter is colder than the last one. Okay. Este qué? Invierno es más yeah. helado que el pasado. Last one. Podemos para hacer. Pero si yo quiero decir este es el más helado. ¿Cómo lo haría? This is the coldest. Coldest. Okay? Of all of them, right? Of all of them. De todos ellos, ¿verdad? Pero cuando estamos hablando en general de inviernos, ¿right? Entonces usted lo que va a hacer es, cuando utilizamos el superlativo, es porque es un grado más que la comparación. Es todavía más. Entonces, para resaltar, usted utiliza el superlativo. ¿Ok? De lo contrario, solo para hacer comparación, usted va a utilizar el comparativo, que es el ER, ¿ok? Entonces, esa es la diferencia. Ahora bien, este... Tenemos lo siguiente. También hay este, los largos, que era con lo que se estaba comentando, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, tenemos expensive, beautiful o beautiful, right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, tenemos también, tenemos este, um, handsome, handsome, tenemos este, intelligent, intelligent, tenemos este, cautious, cautious, right? And so on, right? Entonces, con estos que son más larguitos, nosotros no vamos a utilizar la ER, sino que vamos a utilizar de, vamos a utilizar more, perdón, and dan a the end. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, eh, these jeans is more expensive than the red one. Okay. Este jeans es más caro que el rojo, ¿ok? Pero siempre va a ir el more antes del adjetivo y va a ir el dan después del adjetivo para hacer la comparación. Vamos al siguiente. Dice, she's more beautiful than, than her daughter, Vamos a poner down here. Uh, there have friends. Vamos a ver, no muy. Ok, friends, 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 friends. Ella es más bonita que sus amigas. Ok, we are comparing, right? And we are using a long adjectives. With long adjectives, we use the word more before the adjective. And after the adjective, we use the word that. Que significa que, right? Al igual que el otro, ¿verdad? Handsome es para los chicos, ¿verdad? Este chico es más guapo que el otro, right? Es más inteligente o es más cauto, ¿verdad? O, o ¿cómo le digo? Sí, cauto, ¿verdad? Right? Es más cauto que ellos, ¿verdad? Tiene más cuidado en cuanto a lo que va a decir o va a hacer, etcétera, etcétera, right? So, in these cases, you are going to use more, and after that, you are going to use the adjective, and then you are, we are going to write them, the word them. Okay? It's clear? Okay. Yes. Sure. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. What's the word? When the adjectives end with the letter E, we just add the, the, the word or the letter R for comparatives, okay? Don't be confused. Si el adjetivo termina con la E, ya no es necesario agregarle el ER cuando estamos hablando de comparativo, sino que solamente vamos a agregarle la R, lo que falta, right? Y ST, 
cuando estamos hablando de superlativos. We do not write two es together, right? If it is wider, it's correct. If it is wider, it's incorrect. Como este ya termina con la E, entonces nosotros pues vamos a utilizar solamente la R. No le vamos a poner dos R's. ¿Ok? Solamente okay. le vamos a, a ubicar lo que hace falta. ¿Ok? When the adjectives okay. ends in a consonant plus short vowel or consonants, C plus B plus C, right? We normally double the last letter. For example, bigger, biggest, with witter or witches, right? When you are going to use the superlative. Cuando termina en la consonante, ¿verdad? Y precedido de ella va una vocal más otra consonante. Cuando la palabra tiene una consonante, una vocal y otra consonante, entonces nosotros, nosotros duplicamos la última consonante y le agregamos ER o EST al final, ¿verdad? Si estamos utilizando el comparativo o si estamos utilizando el superlativo. For example, London is bigger than Santiago. Mike is taller than John, but Jen is the tallest. Okay. okay. Mike o Miguel es más alto que John, pero James es el más alto. Aquí en la misma oración estamos ocupando el superlativo con el comparativo. Si se fijan, right? Right. Yesterday was the hot, hottest day in the year. Ayer fue el día más caliente de todo el año. It is in the oldest building in the village, right? Está en el edificio más antiguo, ¿verdad? O más viejo del valle o de la ciudad, right? I want to afford a faster car. Quiero un, un carro más rápido, ¿verdad? Ahora vamos con lo siguiente. It's clear, by the way. Do you have questions so far? Uh, with the superlatives that are in the same, in the, the largest is the same formula with the comparatives. The largest? We, uh, no. We are going to use most expensive than or the same way. We, in the, in the, in the, we're not going to add EST, right? In the large, large, or oh, what is the word? Pardon, I didn't hear me. Okay. If we want to convert one of the largest adjectives uh -huh. to a superlative, we're not going to add est at the end, right? We're going to use the same formula of the comparative. No. Uh -huh. Ah, in... No, para si, si lo vayas. Si quieres hacer el superlativo con los adjetivos largos, eso es lo que me quieres decir, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces usted no me va a utilizar el more, me va a utilizar el most. The oh. most expensive. The most beautiful. The most cautious. The most intelligent. Y así sucesivamente. Ok. Ok, perfect. Yes. Another question, guys. Aunque, aunque most se podría traducir también como la mayoría. Most people, la mayoría de las mm -hmm. personas. The most people, sí, la mayoría de las personas. Pero como es, eh, hablando del contexto, ¿verdad? Así tiene el significado, la palabra most. ¿Ok? For example, the most people think that sí, I'm... Uh -huh, that I'm pretty good at math. But I'm not sure, right? Maybe you can say that. La mayoría de personas, la mayor parte de personas, ¿verdad? Creo que soy buena en matemática, pero no soy segura. Right? Maybe it could be an, a, an example, right? And that way you are going to use it. ¿Verdad? Es como una oración normal, pero este, se, se cambia el significado según el contexto. Okay. Another okay. question? No? Okay. It said, no comparatives are often followed by them. When comparing two things, 
or people, right? Two syllables adjectives ending in Y, okay? Cuando el adjetivo termina en una Y, to form the comparative, we remove the Y and we add ER. Quiere decir que es lo mismo con la regla de los, de los verbos que terminan en Y para formar el, ¿el qué? Para formar con terceras personas, ¿verdad? O este, en ese caso, en ese caso tenemos crazy, crazy, happy, early, right? In this case, we substitute the Y by the I, right? And we add ER or EST, right? It depends if you are talking about comparatives or you are talking about superlatives. Quiere decir que si yo tengo un adjetivo que termina en Y, yo le quito la Y, ¿verdad? Pero siempre y cuando el adjetivo termine que con dos sílabas, ¿verdad? Y termina con una Y. Si tiene dos sílabas y, tiene, y termina con Y, yo le cambio esta Y por la Y latina y le agrego, le agrego ER o EST. Depende si es superlativo o si es comparativo. Por ejemplo, tenemos crazy, crazier, or the craziest. ¿Ok? Happy, happier, the happiest, right? Early, earlier, or the earliest, right? Pero ese también se, se toma, el happy se toma como adjetivo largo y adjetivo corto. Quiere decir que usted lo puede hacer de las dos maneras. Tanto puede decir happier, como puede decir more happy than ta, 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 ta. ¿Ok? Ok. Perfect. Por ejemplo, tenemos, it was the happiest day of my life. Fue el mejor día de mi vida, right? My job was funnier than your one. Mi broma fue más, ¿qué? Más divertida que la tuya. Aquí estamos utilizando el comparativo. Aquí es el superlativo. This section is easier than the rest. Easier than. Esta sección es la más fácil que la del resto, ¿verdad? Preguntas hasta ahí con, con cuanto al adjetivo que tiene dos sílabas, pero termina con Y, chicos? No. No, ok, perfect. Let's continue, right? Adjectives with two or more syllables, right? Cuando tenemos adjetivos, acá están los largos, que era lo que les estaba comentando. Cuando tenemos adjetivos de dos sílabas o más, ¿verdad? That don't end with Y, que no terminan con una Y. And higher, three, four syllables, ¿verdad? Si es de dos, tres, cuatro y así sucesivamente. We use more for comparatives and the most for superlatives. Por ejemplo, handsome, more handsome, or the most handsome. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, podemos poner, este chico es más guapo que aquel, ¿verdad? Que aquel. This voice is more handsome than that one. Que aquel que está allá. Pero si yo quiero decir que aquel chico es el más guapo de la fiesta, entonces tengo yo y digo, that boy is the most handsome of the party. Es el más guapo de la fiesta. Cuando vamos a utilizar el most o el superlativo, es, vamos a hablar solamente de una cosa. Pero cuando vamos a ocupar el comparativo, generalmente en la oración hay dos cosas o dos personas. ¿Ok? Also, we have enthusiastic. More enthusiastic. The most enthusiastic, right? For example, my girlfriend is more beautiful than yours. It's true. Maybe, right? <laughs> maybe yes, maybe not, right? It depends on the eyes that you see, right? <laughs> maybe sometimes, but sometimes it's true, right? I don't know, right? Alex is more intelligent than you, but I'm the most intelligent. Alguien que se están salzando. Okay? It was the most wonderful day I have never had. Es el día más maravilloso que, te, que nunca he tenido o que nunca había tenido, right? 
But guys, there are some exceptions. With two syllable subjectives ending with E, in, ER, or ES. Narrow, narrower. Simple, simpler. Quiet, quieter, right? Esas son las excepciones, ¿verdad? Cuando los terminan, este, con dos sílabas, ¿verdad? Entonces también a esto solamente se les agrega la ER y el EST, no importando si son dos sílabas, ¿ok? Pero esto sí se los tienen que aprender de memoria para poder utilizarlo, porque son excepciones, ¿ok? okay. Pero también, chicos, tenemos los que les decía, tenemos irregular forms of the adjectives. Tenemos adjetivos irregulares, así como los verbos irregulares. Irregulares también tenemos irregulares en cuanto al adjetivo. Uno de ellos es good. Bad, far, title, many, much, or old. Old se puede utilizar, ¿verdad? En cuanto a eso, ¿qué quiere decir? Que cuando son irregulares, tiene que cambiar totalmente su forma, ¿verdad? Cuando vamos a utilizar el comparativo y el superlativo. Por ejemplo, tenemos good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Far, further, or farther, right? The fortest, or the fartest. Little, perdón, less, and the least. Okay? Many, much. More, the most, right? Old, older, or elder. The oldest, or the eldest. Y significa lo mismo. Okay? Quiere decir que no solamente se puede utilizar older, Usted también puede utilizar older y puede utilizar elder o eldest. Pero son, como les digo, son unas excepciones que esto se tiene que ser aprendido para que usted lo pueda manejar. Al igual que los que tenemos arriba, que es consta de dos sílabas, que a pesar de que son de dos sílabas, no, le vamos, no lo vamos a tomar como adjetivos largos, sino que como adjetivos cortos y solamente se le va a agregar er o est al final. ¿Ok? Si quieren, pueden tomar capturas y pueden compartirlo al grupo de WhatsApp para que usted lo pueda tener como referencia. Solo me avisa para yo subirlo, bajarlo, a, con, como se diga, ¿verdad? para que to tomen la captura y lo compartan. Me avisan, chicos. Already. ¿Y las de arriba no? ¿O, o sí? Yes. Yes. Ok, vaya acá. Ok, a ese no. Ok, Maximiliano, vamos con el siguiente. Acá. Vamos a ver, let's see. Vamos, ¿lo subo? Yes, please. Yes. Vamos. 
Uh, esa, esa otra es otra regla también. Lo voy a poner así para que puedan ver el ejemplo. Esos son los que te, tienen una, voca, una consonante, perdón, más vocal, más consonante. A esto se les suplica la última consonante y se les agrega ER o IST. Ok, vamos con la siguiente. Estos son los ejemplos que dice acá. Esta es la primera. Estos son los que constan solamente de una sílaba. Ok, perfecto. We are ready. Vaya, preguntitas hacia aquí, chicos, en cuanto a lo que hemos visto, ¿usarían también el vocabulario? I'm okay, teacher. I, since I understand. Okay, perfect. Good. So, let's pass to the practice, right? Right. Okay, perfect. So, you already finished to take a picture? Yes. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Vaya, vamos a ver. Voy a mandar el WhatsApp group, la primera, y luego vamos a pasar con lo que es el manual, ¿ok? Ok. Perfect. Let's see, guys. Just give me some minutes to open the WhatsApp group, please. And I'm going to open the link also. Ah, by the way, guys. Bueno, después se los voy a poner. Vamos a ver. Ahí estamos. Ahí sí. Just give me some minutes. Ok, Maximiliano. Y chicos, ahí estamos. Entremos. Les voy a mandar otra captura, oigan. Ese okay. es el link para hacer lo de, lo de la, la práctica. Ahorita les mando otra captura en donde está más resumido lo de, la, lo de qué, cuándo vamos a ocupar una sílaba, dos sílabas y así sucesivamente. Solo denme un segundito. Ahí está. Vale, entremos al link. Voy a compartir ahorita para que podamos entrar y podamos ver qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Vamos a ver. Ok, comparative. So you are going to complete the sentences using... The adjective that you have here mm -hmm. in two parentheses, right? But you are going to apply the rules that we were studying before. Recuerden los que son de una sílaba, los que se le tiene que duplicar la última consonante, los que son largos, los que pues terminan en Y y tú tienes que agregarle la... Tienes que, que sustituir la Y por la Y latina y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? O sea, si quiere puede ir tomando notas junto con lo que hemos enviado al WhatsApp Group para que usted pues, pueda hacer la práctica, no hay ningún problema. Acuérdense que esto es práctica y vamos a tomarnos nuestro tiempo. Y ahí sucesivamente. ¿verdad? Tenemos acá también, tenemos otros en donde usted va a escribir lo mejor. Según el adjetivo que tiene ahí entre paréntesis.
Okay, excellent. Congratulations. Vamos a ver, who else? Maximiliano is the first one, right? <laughs> Maximiliano, ¿por qué lo miro tan así? No lo miro tan convencido. <laughs> que lo dice dos veces, dos veces. Two times. Two times. Because the first times I miss some letters. And that's the reason I have some wrong. And uh -huh. the second time, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same. That's happened with the, with the key, keyboard, right? Yes. So maybe you, you tend to, to make it in the cell phone and the correct <laughs> correct right? may that sometimes, right? But it's not your fault. <laughs> But anyway, congratulations. I know that you, you know that, right? It's not your fault. It's fault of the keyboard, right? <laughs> okay, let's see, guys. Vamos a ver. No se preocupen despacio. No se me vayan a equivocar. A veces por ir a la carrera. No se equivocamos. No es que no sepamos, sino que es que vamos a la carrera. O estamos estresados. Vamos despacio, con tiempo. There is no problem. Teacher. So. I finished, but I can take the the screenshot. But ¿Con el celular? My, uh, yes. But uh, my what is uh, my nota is yet. <laughs> okay, no worries for that. We are going to make it here. No worries for that. Okay. This is the first time, and that's good. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations, Jose Ramon. No worries. Okay, thank. You. You're welcome. One more, and then we are going to start to check it, okay? Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, nice. The teacher works. Oh, I see. JCP, right? Seven of them. Excellent. No worries. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, let's see. Vaya, when we go también, chicos, a veces es la mayuca, oh, no, pero aquí se la puesto bien. Mm. Vamos a ver.
Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, entonces lo vamos a empezar a hacer, chicos, vamos a ver, let's see. Ok, vamos a empezar. Ok, Carlos, excelente, Carlos. I try many times. <laughs> ok, no worries, no worries. Vaya, lo que pasa es que, chicos, acá tenemos que como que aprendernos las, las reglas, perdón. <ríe> ok, vaya, acá tenemos small, tenemos un adjetivo de una sílaba, ¿verdad? Entonces quiere decir que a este es un, es un adjetivo corto y por ende solo lo voy a poner smaller porque oh. tenemos, estamos comparando a dos. The green car is smaller than the red car. ¿Ok? Vamos con la siguiente. The red car is. Acá tenemos un adjetivo que empieza con una consonante, tiene una vocal en medio y tiene una consonante al final. Quiere decir que yo le voy a duplicar y le voy a agregar la ER. The, car, the red car is bigger than the green car. Y tenemos dos comparaciones, dos cosas que estamos comparando, ¿verdad? Vamos con la letter C. The green car is cheaper. Cheap. Tenemos solamente una sílaba, entonces por ende, y tenemos dos comparaciones, tenemos que agregar ER. Cheaper. ¿Ok? Dan, bla, 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 bla. Letter D. The red car is... Tenemos un... Ajá. Uh -huh. sí, it's missing the letter E. She upper. Ok, yes. sí, sí. Va a ver que hasta yo me como la letra. Eso pasa, that's happening, right? Yes. Ahora, hoy sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Dígame, porque yo estoy choca también. <laughs> choca yo. O sea, no, dice, the red card is, tenemos un adjetivo more. largo, more. More expensive. expensive. Y tenemos, estamos comparando dos, ¿verdad? More expensive than the green, the green car, right? Letter E. I think that the red car is, tenemos faster. Una, una sílaba, right? So it's faster than the green one. Y estamos comparando dos. Ahora, the green car is, tenemos no, una word. sílaba. Slower than the red car. Y estamos comparando dos. The red car is much better. Better. Acá tenemos un adjetivo este, irregular. irregular. Por ende, se cambia totalmente su forma y es better than the green one. Y estamos comparando, quiere decir que eso es un comparativo, no es superlativo. The green car is much worse. Worse. Worse than the red one, also. The red car yeah. is... Yeah. Dígame. Uh, worst. No, worst. What? Perdón. Ese es... Ah, ya, yeah, Rebe, lo puse. Yes, yes. Worst. Yes. Thank you so much. The worst than the red one. Okay? Perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much, But, guys. Well, no, T-shirt. Worse, I, worse. I worse W O R S E. Yes. Worst. Mm -hmm. No. W O R S 
aquí. Ah, ok, estoy poniendo el, el, el superlativo, sorry. The worst. The red car, thank you so much. Y chicos también. The red car is, tenemos dos, ¿verdad? Estamos comparando dos, chicos. Y tenemos mother. ¿Es un adjetivo corto o es un adjetivo largo? Largo. It's a large adjective. So it's more modern. Tiche, we can hear you. We can hear you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Se me fue, se me bloqueó. Driving the green car is... More dangerous. Adjetivo more, largo. More, more, more dangerous. Dangerous. Dan, bla, 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 right? Vamos con letter K. Driving the red car is... Safe. We have just one syllable, so it's safer than driving the green one, right? The green car is dirty, okay? Tenemos una sílaba y tenemos que finaliza en Y. Pero como no se toma como un adjetivo largo, solamente le vamos a agregar que... A ver, I según, según la... I según. I E R. Yes, okay. dirtier. Dirtier. Damn. It's like this, right? If I yes, yes. Dirty, yes. Dirtier than the red one because we are comparing two, right? right? Now we have the red car is what? Is cleaner. Cleaner than the green one, also, yeah. right? Next, the red car is. Uh, heavier. Heavier. heavier than the green one the green one okay let's continue the bird so we are going to compare it to two animals right the bird and the cheetah right so the yes. bird is i guess more friendly because it's a long adjective and is friendlier okay friendlier, friendlier. But ese se puede de las dos formas, pero si está en la plataforma friend, friendly, se puede also. Is friendlier, friendlier, perdón, more than friendlier. the shira, right? The shira is. Teacher, mm -hmm. you need to add then. Ah, I need the then. Okay, also, thank you so much. Is. Aggressive. This is more, right? Yes. What? No le escuché. It's more aggressive. Than, than the bird, right? Okay. The what? The the bird, strong. The, the bird, bird is stronger than the cheetah. Teacher. ¿Hm? Dígame. Eh, la palabra de ya está ahí. At, at, the, the, at the beginning of the, of the sentence. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Thank you. So, just, you're right. You're right. It's, it's, it's true, right? The word is stronger. Stronger than the cheetah, right? Cheetah. Cheetah. Okay, perfect. So the next one. Ah, uh, siempre, verdad? The bird is, is slower slow. than the cheetah, right? Okay, perfect. Next one. The bird. Okay, the bird. Where is more intelligent? More intelligent. 
more intelligent than the cheetah. The cheetah, right? Cheetah. Okay, let's see. The, the cheetah. cheetah is smaller. Is smaller than the bird. The bird. Okay, perfect. Good. ¿Hay algo otra cosa a ver si no me he equivocado, chicos? I think I don't. No. Teacher, we can't hear you. Será porque le puse con este minúscula el nombre Chira. Mm. But in the other sentences, it, it's the same. It's the same, right? Just give me some minutes, please. Ya vengo. Okay. Voy a dar de compartir esto y vamos con lo siguiente. Eh, vamos a abrir el manual, chicos. Permítame, tengo una emergencia ahorita, se me cayó alguien, se me cayó alguien, mejor dicho. Okay, so here, yeah. here I am. <laughs> okay, let's continue, guys. Vamos. I'm going to share the screen and we are going to continue with the manual. Okay, so after saying the topic that corresponds to grammar focus right for today, we are going to continue in on page. Let me see, guys. We were on page. Esa la pasamos. Esa también, right? Esa también. Nos quedamos, y eso lo pasamos bien. Nos quedamos en esta parte, creo, sí, acá, acá. So, here we are going to use the vocabulary words that we were discussing previously. We were discussing about the adjectives, the comparative, superlative, right? In this case, we are going to use just comparative, and we are going to use the vocabulary words referring to the small, medium, coral, wood, and the material that we use to make some, some uh, clothes, right? For example, we have comparison with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the letter one. Letter, as you know, is cuero, ¿verdad? Which one do you like better or more, right? Which which one do you like better? Or tú puedes decir también, which one do you, do you like more? Oh. ¿Cuál te gusta más o cuál te gusta mejor, verdad? I like, the, I like the leather one better. Or I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wood one. Aquí vamos a combinar los adjetivos, el comparativo, y también vamos a ocupar el vocabulario en cuanto al material de la, del que es hecho cada cierta cosa. Por ejemplo, this one is nicer than the other one. Okay, or that one. ¿Se acuerdan de that one, this one, those, etcétera? Los demostrative pronouns también. The leather jacket is prettier, prettier than the what? The blouse. You can say that, right? It looks bigger than the other one. Esta luce más grande que la, que la okay. otra, right? Or maybe you can say it's more stylist than 
that one. Esta es más estilista o estil, como estilizada, perdón, que la otra, que aquella. Y tenemos acá lo de lo que les está comprando. Aquí hay algunos adjetivos. It is cheap, nice, pretty, or big. Cheaper, nicer, prettier, or bigger, right? It depends on what you want to use, right? Now, what we are going to do, guys, after saying this, we are going to complete the conversation, then practice with a partner. So let's repeat the material. Let's remember the material. We have silk, polyester, small, medium, cotton, and wool. You already know this wood, right? So what we are going to do, we are going to complete it with these particular words that we have here. Uh, which dress is? Prettier. Prettier. The yellow one, okay? The green one or the green one? Well, the green one is silk and silk is? More expensive. More expensive than polyester and so on, right? So you are going to complete with the vocabulary words that you have and you need in that space in that, okay? Go ahead.
I'm done. Okay, thank you so much. Vamos a esperar a dos más, okay? Okay. Perfect. I finished teacher. Ok, excelente, José Ramón. Vamos, entonces, ¿les gustaría chequear ya? ¿O esperamos un ratito más? Chicos. Let's check, teacher. Ok. We're perfect. ready to check. Ok, perfect. ¿Quién me dice la número uno? Can I? Yes. Thank you. Which dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Mm -hmm. Well, the green one is silk, and silk is more expensive than polyester. Excellent. Number two, volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Is the blue t-shirt larger than the red and white one? No, the red and white one is bigger. It's medium. The blue one is small. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Number three. Number three. Number three, guys. 
Can I try, teacher? Yes, thank you so much. Look at these pants. Which ones do you like better? Uh -huh. I prefer the green cotton ones. They're more stylish than the wool ones. Excellent. That's that it is. Muy bien, así es. This is this is the form that you're going to use the comparatives with combining with the colors and the close vocabulary words. So let's see more expressions, useful expressions. For example, we have the color is prettier, the prettier, right? El color es muy bonito, ¿verdad? The design is nicer. El diseño es chivo, ¿verdad? The style is more attractive. El estilo es más atractivo. The material is better. El material es mejor, right? Okay? So, which dress do you like more? I like the yellow one better. The design is nicer. This is an example how you can use these phrases or expressions when you are going to talk about the colors or the clothes that you usually use with another person, right? So, let's repeat it. The color is prettier. The color is prettier. The color is prettier. The design is nicer. The design is nicer. The style is more attractive. The style is more attractive. The material is better. The material is better. Okay. So how much do these things cost in your country? Complete the chart, then compare the prices in your country with the prices in the US. So how much these materials or these articles cost? For example, a newspaper, how much is a newspaper here in El Salvador? It depends. Uh -huh. uh, 50 cents. 50 cents here, right? Okay. Um, and a cup of coffee? It depends on the place. Ah, in Starbucks, it's like the most caro. In the market. In the market. In the market. In the cafeteria. How, how much is cost? How much is, is its cost? Uh, 45 cents. <laughs> 45 cents, it's about 45 special. cents, or <laughs> maybe $1.55, cents. maybe when you are going to go to the gas station, maybe, I guess, but I'm not sure. And in a restaurant, about around $2. $2, yes, you're right, $2. About $2.50, right? It depends <laughs> if it is big or if it is small, right? It depends. Right. And a CD, how much is, is it cost? And a pirate CD. <laughs> no existen ya. Es extinguido. A paperback um, book. <clears throat> ¿Cuál es el costo? Paper. Uh -huh. A paperback mm -hmm. book, a libro, un libro de papel, something. Mm -hmm. It depends on the author. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But about, I don't know, twelve dollars and more. I don't know. Maybe right. Okay. It depends on the on the on the place that you are, right? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Perfect. So I need a volunteer that read this short. Eh, short este ¿cómo se, cómo se me ha ido la palabra paragraph a short paragraph me teacher ok, José Ramón, thank you so much go ahead many things are more expensive in my country than in the United States for example a newspaper costs one dollar at home in the USA it's cheaper it's only 75 cents a cut of coffee cost. Ok, entonces usted acá dice que usted tiene que hacer una comparación 
de los precios que tenemos acá y los precios que tienen en USA, ¿verdad? Pero eso es como una search, tienen que investigar. Entonces le va a quedar de tarea para mañana. Mañana tenemos clase otra vez. No, 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 eso es But yes, you have to be here. Okay, let's continue the reading. The words on like marketplace. It's like marketplace in Facebook, right? You get some articles and you buy it online and you ask for them and they uh, add the cost but, of the sending, right? But it's safe, of course. Uh -huh, but it's safe, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you know, is, do you consider it's better asking for, for online or sell it in the place? It depends. In the place. It depends. Why? Uh -huh. Por qué? En qué depende? There are things that uh, are more cheaper. Uh -huh. right. Cheaper online, yes. yes. But the time you have to wait for the is larger than uh -huh. what you want. Uh -huh. you wait, the... uh -huh. you wait a lot of time, right? And it's a little bit frustrating, right? <laughs> because you want the article right now, right? Because you need it. But you have to wait more time, right? But it's cheaper because you don't have to translate, you don't have to uh, spend money in gasoline, right? Or go right. in your car <laughs> to bring the product in the place, then they send you here. It is better, it's more cheaper than go there, right? Right. Okay, what else? Another opinion? Do you consider this better online or in the place? Uh, sometimes it's better in the place because we can, I don't know, see the product. Uh -huh, we can see the product. And yes, and we can check the product if yeah, it's be right. good. It's, it's good, right? Yes, you're right. Uh -huh. And the advantages and disadvantages? Hmm. I hope we can ¿Y las mm. ventajas o desventajas de ir al lugar? Uh, it's expensive, right? I guess. Sometimes, right? And maybe you don't have enough time to go there also because you work. Mm. Also, it's another, it's another advantage. Like they send them to you. They make them. And you can you can do it while you, you are working, right? Also, okay. Let's see. When you, Bye. Uh huh. I think when you have to to. How do I say compra? Compra. When you buy something. When, uh, when you buy something online, do you need to check? Uh, the, pay, the the place where you are buying because some place have bad reviews mm -hmm. so you you need to, to find some place that have a good review or not have a bad experience <laughs> and you also bad... uh, and also you some places you need your your credit card number so it is a little bit dangerous because they can install your information Yes. It's another disadvantage, right? Yeah, you're right. Okay, right. perfect. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Vamos a ver. Vamos a leer la reading, right? Acerca de online markets. And we are going to discuss about this reading. What is about? Okay, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to read this. And then we're going to make a review or make a discussion. Okay, go ahead. Okay.
finish? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. So let's discuss. What is the, the reading about? The reading what? is about eBay. It's about sell, sellings, right? On eBay, right? Ventas and eBay. Muy bien, excelente. Um, what happened with the people who buy there? What can what can what they can get there, or what kind of product they can get there? They can find cars, electronic music instruments, and shoes. Almost everything. Almost everything. Yes, as you keep. <laughs> That's you're you're right. That's the way. That's the the, the words, right? Uh huh. And what happened with Kevin, Jenny? What Jenny says about Porsches and eBay? Uh, I guess Jenny is like the traditional buying because uh, she thinks it's better to see the product uh, and, and and not a picture. <laughs> Uh -huh. She said that she preferred to buy in a in a traditional way, right? Because right. the people wants to touch and see the products, not see a picture, right? Right. Okay, muy bien, excelente, verdad? Y qué más? Vamos a ver, okay. And what happened? What uh, eBay uh, led us to be able to do? ¿Qué es lo que Ibai nos deja, nos deja este, ser capaces de hacer? Uh, we can trade uh, what kind of things we want uh -huh. to sell. You can be a customer or you can be a, a, a buyer. A uh -huh, seller, yeah. right? And it led us to sell products and buy products, right? And are almost around the world, or better say, in, around the world, right? Everywhere right. in the world. So it is good. So there is some advantages and there is there, there are some advantages, but don't and there are not advantages or disadvantages for buy or get a purchase on eBay, right? Or places like this, right? Our exist the Amazon. ¿Qué más? ¿Cuál es la otra? Marketplace on Facebook. Marketplace on Facebook, right? <laughs> it's needed, yeah. right? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué más? Alibaba, como que parece que está, ¿verdad? Ah, yes. Ah, so I... it's something like this, right? Okay. So there are a lot of places, right, in which you can get a purchase, right? You can make a purchase. Okay, read the article and answer these questions. Then write the number of paragraphs where you find each answer. For example, how many people use eBay? Millions of people. Millions of people. In which paragraph, which number of paragraph you use that answer? The one. In the oh, number no. one. So you are going to write one, one right? Uh, let it right. be. What do people think about eBay? ¿Qué es lo que piensan acerca de eBay? They think they have uh, a hard time. People that think like this city. Se te un poquito cortado, Maximilian. Ah, okay. We can see kind of thinking uh -huh. we see people that think like mike that is a friendly and that he can make friends on ebay mm -hmm. and we that think like jenny feng mm -hmm. that want to show the things and want to be a traditional buyer mm -hmm. okay so in it which... depends on right? the person on the person okay Excellent. In which paragraph do you find do find did you find there that? In paragraph number three. Number three. Okay, excellent. Number C. Let us see, Pradon. How do you sell items on eBay? Guys. A member puts an advertising 
Okay. Or a nice okay. discount. Okay. Other members bid or offer money for the item. Mm -hmm. The person who bid the most money gets to buy the item. Then the seller send the item to the buyer. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So that's the process, right? In which paragraph do you find that? Paragraph number two. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. What is eBay, guys? What is eBay? It's a place, an electronic place <laughs> uh -huh. that we can use to buy or sell things. Okay, perfect. Excellent, Ramon. In which paragraph did you find out? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot it. Just but I read it. <laughs> it's the World Online Marketplace. It says in the paragraph number one. It's the paragraph number one also, right? Okay, excellent. So let's see letter E. Where can you shop on eBay? Almost everywhere. Almost yes. everywhere, right? Around the world. And the last one, guys, letter F. What kind of what can you buy and sell on eBay? Almost everything. Almost everything. Just kidding. No, en serio, I venden de todo. Sí, hasta casas que se venden. Sí, casas armables. Yes, yes. Uh, I read some articles for, uh, <laughs> about that. Sí, he visto también en ese alimento. Containers. Ah, containers. containers. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, you're right. They make houses with containers, right? Also, right? So, almost everything, right? So, in which paragraph did you find that? In paragraph number two. In paragraph number two. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Vaya, ahora, eso es lo último que vamos a hacer y aquí nos vamos a quedar, chicos. ¿Qué le podemos Why? hacer? Fat or opinion. Because we are 54 minutes past four, right? Don't worry. No worries. You can, you can continue, right? Discuss it, right? Okay. Yes. Vaya, number one. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything. Es un... ¿Es una opinión o es un factor? ¿O es algo um, real? ¿Fat o opinión? Fat, es un factor. Yes, es fat, right? Number two, eBay is more popular than any other shopping sites. Uh, opinion? It's an opinion, it's right? Opinion. Okay, number three, the person who bids the most money gets to buy the item. It's a fact. Fat opinion. It's a fact. It's a fact, right? Okay. Number four, selling an eBay is easy. It's an opinion. Um, opinion. It's an opinion. Okay, perfect. So number five, the traditional way to shop is better. Fat it's opinion. An opinion. It's an opinion. It's an opinion. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Y la última, ya, para terminar, nos, nos estamos emocionando con la lectura. Okay, have you ever shopped online? Yes, no. Have you ever shop online? Yes. Yes, right. Almost, almost everybody, right? Casi todo el mundo compra en línea. Okay. How was your experience? Experience, mm -hmm. perdón. ¿Cómo fue su experiencia? Buena, mala y por qué? Yeah. It was a, a bad experience. A bad experience. Why, Maximiliano? Uh, I, I, I buy a, a, how do I say reloj? A watch. a watch. A watch. I buy a watch and the watch in the picture was not what really was. It was not a real product. product. Yes. So... Yeah. For that reason, is is what I think it was a bad experience. And but what... I'm not, uh -huh. I'm not close to continue buying online. <laughs> okay, yes, you're right. Maybe it's a bad experience, but there are other other times that it could be better, right? It could be good, it could be the best experience, right? It depends on the seller, also, right? Right. And what do you do in that case? 
¿Qué dices en ese caso? Call, maybe make a complaint. No, no, I didn't do anything. I almost forgot that I had it. <laughs> I tried to forget that. <laughs> okay, perfect, excelente. Maximiliano, Maximiliano, ¿quién más? Who else? Who else have a bad experience by online? Nobody else? I buy too much in Facebook in marketplace and I have a good experience. So you you never had a, a bad experience. You have a have never had a bad experience. I don't remember a bad experience in in the period that you you have uh, buying something, right? Yes, I buy many clothes to really? my daughters and for me. I buy many shoes mm -hmm. and I don't have a bad experience. Okay, excellent. Entonces, qué bueno que no tenía ninguna mala experiencia. Eso es bueno. Habla mucho de, del vendedor, ¿verdad? Que es un excelente vendedor. Okay, somebody else? Can I comment the experience of my cousins? Okay, yes, of course. Thank you. Go ahead. She buy a lot of, of, of clubs online mm -hmm. and Amazon. Mm -hmm. and she, when you buy in Amazon, that when you buy here, uh, let me put some examples. She buys me a, a Nautica shirt. Sure. Uh -huh. That is around $35. Mm -hmm. If you go to to uh to uh to Siman, for example, uh -huh. it's around seventy five dollars. Is the double cost, right? The double, right. The double so price. Yeah. You can you can you can have products that are cheaper when you buy online than when you go buy them in, in the, the place, place, right? right so it has advantages to buy that the disadvantages is that you have to waste some time right and as i told you before we we want the product right now we don't want to waste so much time but we had it right okay but sometimes, sometimes it's, good. Right? it's good but sometimes it's bad right? it depends okay excellent thank you so much guys okay okay bye. Niños, it's time. Ya ves que platicando se va rápido el tiempo. Yes. Y mejora okay. usted su, su speaking. That's good. And I motivate and invite to the others that try for the next time also, right? Okay. Thank you so much, guys. And I see you tomorrow. Have a nice okay. rest of the day. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.